All right, so now real quick, what I'm gonna show you, something really simple. We got our garage door openings and you have what's called garage door jams, which require pressure treated material. In some houses, you use 2 by 10 pressure treated material. On this particular house, we've got the oversized brick. And if you go with our standard, you know, we would end up being wrong. So I wanted to show you this. Take a look at this down here. So you've got two pieces of pressure treated lumber. This is a two by eight and you've got a two by 12. So real quick, if we were to use a two by eight or two by 10, in this case, it would not uh, work out because as you see, here's the supporting wall. Here's your brick veneer that we haven't started laying yet, which is another five inches or so. So if you were just to use this piece of lumber, you would see, you would be able to see this exposed brick veneer, which is definitely not the way to go with this application. So this will not work. So we're gonna use the tube of 12 pressure treated. And what you'll see now is that in this case, when we flush the backside up with the inside of the brick from the garage, this is flush. You'll see when we start laying the brick, it covers up this not so appealing void behind the wall, but also creates a nice transition. So now, you would end up being able to lay your brick and your brick actually has a stopping point for when it gets to these particular areas. So this is something you want to pay attention to in your garage door jams, making sure you have enough overhang past your pressure treated lumber to conceal where the brick veneer starts in these particular locations. So that's just something real quick I wanted to point out. I was talking with my superintendent about it and it's something we caught. We're making sure we have the 2x12s on this house to wrap the garage door jams, pressure treated material. So when you do your brick veneer, you've got enough pocket there to create a clean, smooth transition. Hopefully that's something that's been of value to you. Little tidbit of information. And I always like sharing little things like that on the job sites that hopefully can make your job that much more easier when you find yourself building a new custom home. I'm Ralph Locklear with Southeasterngeneralcontractors.com.